I'm asked to find the partial fraction decomposition of 2x squared minus 18x minus 12 all over x cubed minus 4x. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is factor the bottom. Because that's going to tell me what kind of fractions I need in my decomposition. So I can factor out an x. And now I have the difference of two squares. So I have three non-repeated linear factors. So I'll need three fractions. And now it's our job to figure out what A, B, and C are. I'm going to multiply both sides by the bottom, see what cancels, and then write a system of linear equations in the variables A, B, and C that I'm going to solve this time using the matrix features on my calculator. So multiplying both sides of this last statement by the denominator would re reveal that 2x squared minus 18x minus 12 is equal to. Well, when I multiply the bottom of this side, the x's cancel here and leave me with a times x minus 2 times x plus 2, but I know that's x squared minus 4, so I'm just going to go on and write that down plus b times the x minus 2's cancel, and I'd have x in times x plus 2. So I'm going to go on and distribute that through. And you can do this in as many steps as you need to. Plus c, and here the x plus 2's cancel, and I'd be left with x squared minus 2x. Well, looking at this statement, I see 1, 2, three terms that when I distribute would have an x squared. So ax squared plus bx squared plus cx squared would be equal to 2x squared. So that would tell me that a plus b plus c is equal to 2. If I look where I would have terms with x to the first. Well, I'd get up one here and one here, and that's it. So I'd have no a's, but two b's minus two c's. And they would have to be equal to minus 18. And then finally, I need to look where I would have a constant term, and I'm only going to have one of those, and that would be four times a. And that's going to have to be minus 12. Well, I don't think this would be too hard of a system to just solve because I can find A really quickly, plug it in here and have a system on two variables. But part of what I wanted to do in this example is demonstrate the calculator again. So I'm going to hit second matrix. I'm going to go over to edit. And I'm going to use matrix C because why not? One, two, three rows. One, two, three, four columns. And now I just need to enter in those coefficients. One. 1, 1, 2, and then 0, 2, 0, 2, minus 2, minus 18, 4, 0, 0, minus 12. Again, I'm just going to go through and make sure I entered it in all correctly. 1, 0, 4, 1, 0, 4, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, minus 2, 0, and then finally 2, minus 18, minus 12. I hit second quit to get back out here, hit second matrix, math, find R, R, E, F. I usually tell people to hit the down arrow, but it's actually easier to hit the up arrow until we get to option B, R, 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 E, F. Enter, and this time I was dealing with matrix C. And so, my reduced row echelon matrix I find out that A was minus 3, B was minus 2, and C was 7. And I know this because I had A's, B's, C's, so this is a column for A's, a column for B's, and a column for C's. And that lets me finish my partial fraction decomposition. A is minus 3, B 
is minus 2, and finally C is positive 7. The matrix options on the calculator make solving a system of equations very easy. 